Hey everyone. Most of us struggle with creating watercolor mountains uh beautifully and we have trouble understanding the shadows and what colors to be used in the mountain. So I'm beginning with the drawing of a mountain. So mountain for me starts with an apex out of which stem three distorted lines. As you can see, I'm not doing uh, I'm not making them carefully. Here is another line that takes turns and there are various angles in this line and it joins the base. The third one kind of drifts away from the second one. joins the way base so you can add more details and you have three sides now and the third one is behind you can add details by uh, making diversions from the already existing lines again giving it three sides with three lines and the same center point I'm adding a bit more details. So drawing your mountains this way uh, gives it an added dimension. And we have loads of pictures on internet of mountains that make them look uh, intricate and difficult to follow and even recreate them. So here is another uh, drawing of mountain that I'm doing. And again, uh, very unrefined line and the second one comes all the way down here the third one goes at places in different directions and you can take it to wherever you want so here we are done add more structure if you want to Again, it has three sides, three lines, one center point. Now, understanding the light and shadow. So, if the light comes from the right uh, hand side, then this part of the mountain will remain in the shadow. And if the light comes from the left hand side, then the front of this mountain, or if you want to call it the right side, this will remain in shadow. Let's paint a mountain to understand how you do it with color. So for that I've used my flat brush and applied water. Take a note of the fact that the water does not have to be too much or too less. I have used grey color and flat angular brush and I'm um, using these lines as my base and creating strokes so these places are the shadows of my mountain If you add too much water to your mountain uh, before applying water, before applying the color, uh, it might actually make your paint bleed through the outline. The second color that I'm using is blue and uh, I am kind of overlapping the gray area with the blue one but not completely, leaving some spaces of gray as they are.
I'm using the same color but with darker value and I am using a tissue paper to get the paint lifted off my brush so that only uh, little remains on my brush and I'm using it to create brush strokes and I dra dab it until uh, a lot of my paint has already gone so letting your brush slide through the sides I would take more color on my brush if I want to to add more structure I have used my mini detailer to create uh, certain details at places and mind that I haven't created the full complete outline of my mountain else it would give my mountain an artificial look so just some lines uh, the divide where uh, which separates your bright and shadow part and small rocks here and there So our mountain with this technique is almost done and the next technique that I'd be using is with masking fluid. So let's give it the finishing touches. If you have paint left on your brush, you can use it to give it some strokes, which is basically adding details to your mountain. And it's done. So here's the second picture that I've drawn and this is the masking fluid that I use. You can find it on Amazon, Flipkart or whatever site you use. So I have taken it on my brush and I'm spreading it uh, randomly at places. Here you are supposed to be intuitive because uh, these parts that are covered with masking fluid are actually the parts where your uh, snow is going to be. So you can take your brush wherever you choose wherever your heart says and cover it until it's done and you're happy with your snow so we let it dry and meanwhile you can uh, create the sea uh, in front of the mountain or you can do the clouds while this thing dries up and uh, so I am planning to make sea in front and I've applied water 
note that not too much or too less I also played around with my skies but kind of ruined it and since the mountains are the focus of our painting let's get back to them so I have applied water uh, and now I'm using the same two colors that I've used in my previous painting gray and blue gray and this is blue so I do not have to use these colors meticulously I can just give my painting random strokes let your brush go wherever it wants to so somewhere gray then somewhere blue and somewhere mix of both just follow your instincts while you're doing this let your brush slide through the sides and create depth in your painting so I would always suggest that uh, you should always start painting your, uh, uh, your, your drawing uh, with the base colors with the colors that have light values and step by step increase the intensity of colors by you know adding or diluting your color less I'll add more dark values to give it structure and form So again I'm using my flat, uh, sorry, a round thin brush to give uh, details. Don't draw the outline completely, just add and enhance certain places. Again, I'm using the same te technique where uh, I have used my flat angular brush and taken some paint and least amount of water and dabbed it on the tissue to get most of the paint lifted and I run the dry brush across my painting sliding it down to give it more uh, depth. And we're almost done with this one too we just want uh, our paint to dry and then we'll uh, remove the masking fluid you please do let me know how do you like this video I am not so much like I'm not friendly with the technology and it took me a while to get the hang of this uh, hang of creating this video and uh, so yeah let me know in the comments section below uh, if there are any subjects that you want me to make video on and uh, always use an eraser to remove the masking fluid uh, I have used my fingers and I have ruined loads of my paintings so our mountain is ready and if the snow looks 
smooth you can just add dry run dry brush so thank you help somebody learn how to paint